Okay, so I have a Samsung Galaxy S6 here, and I'm gonna show you four things that you can do to speed up your phone right now. First thing is this, what you wanna do is you wanna go into your settings, and then you wanna scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And what we wanna do here is basically we want to enable the developer options. You're not gonna have this on your phone right now, so what you wanna to do to enable it is go into About Devices, and then you wanna scroll down, and you wanna look for Build Number. You basically want to tap this like seven times until in the bottom it says developer mode has been turned on, okay, like right here. So tap that like seven times until you get this message here, and then simply hit the back button, and then you'll have this option here, it says developer options. Go ahead and click on that, and then from here you, what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn off three things in here, okay, it's going to be the window animation scale, the transition animation scale, and the animator duration scale, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on window animation scale. What we wanna do to all these, basically we want, we want to turn the animation off, okay? Let me give you a quick example, okay? So if I, for example, if, if I had this animation scale at 10X, let me show you how slow this is, okay? So when I click on this, it's gonna slowly open up just like that, okay? Now if I turn animation off, and now I click on it, it's gonna pop up right away, okay? So turn that off. And you can see animation is off. Now I'm gonna go down here, transition animation scale. I'm gonna tap on animation is off. And also animation duration scale. Tap on that and I'm also going to turn that off as well. So all three are off right now. Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna do this, okay? Now you notice if you're on your phone, you know, you always get, you know, if you're scrolling through your phone, you always get this briefing window here. If you're not using briefing, go ahead and turn this off. Okay, and how you do that is basically you go to anywhere on your screen and pinch it small like this and then swipe all the way to the left and then uncheck this and then click on the home button. And now that's the furthest you can go. You cannot go into that briefing window anymore. Okay. Another thing that you can do is uh, get rid of all the uh, uh, apps that you're not using and also get rid of the bloatware. Basically, you're not gonna be able to uninstall the bloatware, which is basically pre-installed apps, but you can disable some of them. Okay, so for example, let's do this. Let me click on apps here. Let me click on edit, and I'm gonna start getting rid of all the stuff that I'm not using. You know, like this color switch here, I'm not using that anymore. I'm gonna click uninstall. That's a third-party app. Okay, here's S Health, which is bloatware. Let me tap on that, and I'm able to disable it. Basically, turn it off and click on okay. So keep going through all the ones, all the apps that you're not using, you basically turn it off or uninstall it, okay? Now the last option is this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into settings again. And now from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna look for accounts. Tap on accounts and then uh, you'll see Google here, okay? If you have some Gmail accounts, click on Google and this will show all of your Gmail accounts on here, okay? And what you wanna do Simply just go through each and go through each of these, like tap on it, and then you basically want to uh, turn off whatever you're not using. For this email address, like I'm not using Sync Data, I'm not using Calendar, I'm not using Contacts, I'm not using Drive, I'm not using any of these except for the uh, Sync Gmail. Basically, I just want to be able to get my uh, my email. Okay, so I'm gonna uncheck all these, just like that. And this will actually increase your phone because using, um, when your phone is searching data, it is going to take more processor memory as well as going to drain your battery faster too, okay? So this will save battery processor and free up some of your uh, memory as well. And that's pretty much it. Right from here, you should be able to notice a notice that your phone is slightly faster. And that's pretty much it. Any questions or anything, just comment below. All right, thanks guys. Bye.